Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we take a look at the secret campaign hidden within White's Day and the endings associated with it. Previously on the channel, we played through White Day, explained the game's complex story, and followed that up with two videos looking at the origins of the 20 ghosts which haunt Yondu High School. Now, with all of that knowledge in hand, we embark on one final video as we experience the story of a secret character known as Yu Ji Min. In this video, I'll explain how to unlock this hidden scenario and secondary protagonist, show all of the cutscenes from her campaign explaining the story along the way, and wrap things up with both endings achievable upon its completion. So sit back, relax, and let's get doodle hunting. Jimin is a mysterious character indeed. Unlike main protagonist Heemin, who is a senior at the school, Jimin is in the year below, and her personality reflects this younger age. Oh, never mind. I'll just call you upperclassmen. I never called anyone else upperclassmen before. Oh my gosh. So embarrassing. <laughs> She can be located near the beginning of the game if certain criteria are met. Here is a quick guide to unlocking this secret protagonist. First, complete the game on normal difficulty or higher and achieve the true ending known as White Chrysanthemum. Next, begin a new game again on normal difficulty and locate 10 doodles found around main building 1. These doodles reflect characters and story points which Jimin has observed while at the school. Here are their locations. The drawing of a sad pigeon can be found in the corridor next to the workshop. This cat looking for her baby cat is in the corridor next to the home economics classroom. A fly that looks like classmate Ji Hyun is located next to classroom 2-6. A butterfly with wings shaped like human faces is etched upon the wall of the sound recording room. These lollipops and the text beneath them are found between classrooms 2-9 and 2-10. Between classrooms 2-7 and 2-8, we see a picture of a baby cat crossed with a fly, which resembles Sung Ah. Next up is this creepy image of a stick insect, which is found between classrooms 2-1 and 2-2. In the corridor between the gym's storage room where we first meet the hanging ghost, an empty birdcage doodle can be seen. Nearby in the passageway leading to the auditorium, we find a sketch of a rat holding crutches. The final image is of a crying angel, located on the staircase leading from the entrance hall to the second floor. All of these doodles have been sketched by Ji Min and represent elements of the game's story. Now we have them, it's time to meet Ji Min herself. Head to the second floor of Main Building 1 and outside Class 2-8 we run into Ji Min for the first time. Oh, gosh! Oh, what was that all of a sudden? You scared the heck out of me! How, how come you're still standing there? Do you need to go in? Go ahead and tell me about it. Don't just stand there. Why don't you answer me? Yeah, whatever. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> Wait. I don't think I've ever seen you before. No! Same class as so young? Uh, one after another, they just keep coming. I gotta beat them off with a stick. <sighs> what? What? N note? N no, no, I, I don't know. Anyway, we should turn around and go back since it's locked here. Jimin will not follow us, and once we exit the hallway, she vanishes. So, who is this mysterious girl, and what's her story? 
Well, we never get too much clarity on this. She is left mostly unexplained and acts more as a trigger for other events in the story that White Day tells. However, by examining text messages on her phone, we get a rough idea of her history and why she is so interested in investigating the paranormal goings on of the school. These text messages seem to be from Jimin's mother, suggesting she is a permanent resident of the school and living away from home. Her mother keeps promising to visit, but repeatedly cancels on Jimin due to the illness of a relative. While it is never categorically stated, this relative seems to be a little girl called Jinju, who has fallen sick. Eventually, Jinju dies from her illness, and Jimin's mother promises yet again she'll visit soon, and hopes her daughter hasn't forgotten what she looks like. This suggests that it may have been months since they last met. This separation from her family, combined with the tragic death of a family friend or relative, leads Jimin to fixate on the dead. She is desperate to discover the truth behind the hauntings at Yondu High School. She also yearns for companionship, feeling lonely and unloved. It's not a lot to go on, but this does help us understand her somewhat erratic persona and why she explores the school after hours. We next encounter her after saving So Young from the tree spirit and conversing with her. As we head down the staircase to Main Building 2, He Min once again encounters this quirky student, as well as having a close call with a janitor. Tell me why So Young's face froze all of a sudden. Did you come to this school just to follow around So Young? What are you talking about? You just transferred to this school. She is so irritating. Just tell me. Why So Young left the media room so mad with that face? After saving Jimin and narrowly escaping the janitor, Heemin ventures into Main Building 2. Normally, this would lead to more interactions between himself and So Young, as well as a boss fight with the baby ghost. However, now we have triggered Jimin's route, it is possible to take control of her at this point in the story and finish up the game, unlocking a brand new end sequence. To do this, once checking the monitors in the principal's office, take note of the third screen, and the following sequence plays out. Now we have 9 minutes to save Jimin from a fire which has broken out in the biology storeroom. To do this we must collect up a blanket from the night duty room and then douse it in water in the science lab. Head back to Jimin and put out the flames to see the following cutscene. getting back on my feet. I know. Let me go look for So Young. Hey, uh, can, can I call you upperclassmen? Are you that happy? Yeah, 
Okay then. Hey, why don't you go and try to find me a way to the new building? Uh, and if you meet So Young, please don't tell her about me or what happened. Then she'll think of me as a troublemaker. Hey, we can meet very soon, right? We now find ourselves in control of Ji Min and continue the game from her point of view. We learn that she has been spying on the school music teacher Kim Ji Won and his relationship with Choi Eun Mai, the mother of Sung Ah, a student who perished in a fire at the school. Kim Ji Won had caused the fire that killed Sung Ah and was desperate to find a way to help her mother resurrect her from the grave. Sung Ah's spirit has been trapped in the school due to the placement of five talisman set up around the building by Ji Won at the principal's request to restore the Feng Shui of the structure. These tokens represent the five elements, earth, fire, wood, metal and water, and create a seal which now prevents the ghosts of those who died on school ground from ever leaving. This led to the creation of a spirit realm beneath the school known as the Labyrinth, a place now inhabited by the vengeful spirit of Sung Ah, who fed off the negative energy at the school to become a powerful, demonic entity. I was all alone. Alone in the flames. When I woke up, my soul was trapped forever in the school. Like other dead souls, I preyed on people. Their energy, their dissatisfaction, and their sadness. It gave me strength. <laughs> This is all explained far more clearly in my Story Explained video, so if you're interested in the finer details, consider checking that out. The main point to remember for the context of this video is that the music teacher Kim Ji Won and Sung Ah's mother worked together to try and bring her daughter back after the accident. They did this by attempting to transfer Sung Ah's soul into the body of another student, her best friend Na Young. However, after Na Young discovered this, she took her own life, now appearing as the hanging ghost around the school. Ji Min wishes to free the school from the labyrinth's hold, help So Young end her sister Na Young's torment, and give closure to Sung Ah and her mother. This is her objective, so let's see how she achieves it. Once in control of Ji Min, we head back to main building 1. Jimin has procured a bottle of Luminol, a chemical used to reveal fluids such as blood. She takes this to the area where Na Young has hung herself and the location music teacher Kim Ji Won also killed himself after failing the ritual. By using the Luminol on Ji Wong's death site, his blood stains reveal he was holding a book. With this information in mind, Jimin heads to the lost and found room where sure enough, the blood stained book has been stashed. A letter from the art teacher falls from this book. It alludes to G1 entrusting them with something of great value, which they note is now locked within a safe beneath their desk. The code for the safe is guarded by a tiger, but what does this mean? Well, Jimin soon discovers a series of books hidden throughout the school's new building. There are four in total, and each of these books contains a segment of a tiger painted on its spine. These books also contain numbers. By combining the books to form the tiger's body, we are given the number sequence, and this sequence can be used on the art teacher's safe. Upon unlocking the safe, we are treated to a flashback where we see music teacher Kim Ji Won and Sung Ah's grieving mother Choi Eun Mai enacting a ritual to trap Sung Ah's spirit in the school until the resurrection can be completed. They did this by placing Sung Ah's ashes in a vase and then placing her inhaler inside. This is an important item, as it hadn't been the fire that had killed Sung Ah directly, rather she had died from smoke fumes as she suffered from severe asthma. 
However, many months had passed since the ritual was attempted. G1 is now long dead, himself trapped in the school as a ghost. As for Sung Ah's mother, well she now wanders the school grounds as a psychotic killer, hell bent on taking vengeance for her daughter's untimely demise. In order to free Sung Ah and her hold over the school, Ji Min needs to reclaim that inhaler, but the crazed mother got there first and it is now once again in her possession. Ji Min sneaks very carefully behind Sung Ah's mother as she staggers about the school, and eventually, after she is defeated by He Min, is able to retrieve the inhaler. In this next cutscene, we witness Sung Ah grieving for her mother, and the dark energy of the labyrinth manifesting itself in a physical form as shadow monsters who attempt to claim the mother's soul. After swiping the inhaler from Choi and Mai's corpse, Ji Min runs into Sung Ah, who transforms into the master of the labyrinth and transports her to her underworld realm. In this labyrinthian maze, Ji Min must quickly retrieve five pictures, each representing five elements. These are needed to complete the ritual and cleanse the school of Sung Ah's nefarious presence. They must be collected in the following order. Metal, wood, Earth, water, fire. Once all are collected, the following scene plays out. Now back in the school, a giant version of Sung Ah's mother, under the control of the labyrinth, commands the darkness to attack Ji Min. She must run all of the way to the music room in main building 2, where the five elements can be placed, and with the help of Ji Won's spirit, the two complete the ritual, and the school goes up in flames. Here is the entire cutscene for your viewing pleasure. place has changed. Please. 
please live happy in your next life. Sung Ah and her mother are reunited in death, and the labyrinth's curse lifted, freeing their souls. They embrace in the flames as their souls finally find peace in the afterlife. But what about our remaining heroes, Lee Hee Min and Yu Ji Min? There are two additional endings which give extra closure to the characters of White Day, although these are not as canon as the game's self-proclaimed true ending, which we covered in our Story Explained video. Nevertheless, in this final segment of the video, I will be showing you both endings, so let me know which you think is best in the comments section below. Sit back and enjoy the movie. disappeared. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. If you have enjoyed it, then remember to leave me a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more horror-related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.